This is a short video abstract of our research that's published in Brain Communications. It concerns an amyloid beta vaccine that safely drives immunity to a key pathological species in Alzheimer's disease. And that species is called pyroglutamate A beta. Alzheimer's disease is a very devastating disease. It leads to cognitive impairment and dementia. It's caused by misfolded proteins, including neurotoxic A beta oligomers and pyroglu A beta. And as shown in the cartoon on the top, these transform into plaques that are located in the brain of patients with Alzheimer's. Currently, 50 million people worldwide are living with dementia, and this is expected to nearly double every 20 years. So at ACMU, we are developing a vaccine to successfully tackle Alzheimer's disease by leveraging the immune system to prevent and treat neurodegeneration. We use vaccination because it stimulates the immune system to generate antibodies. And the beauty of using antibodies is that they can be very target specific and they can safely engage the immune system to produce a lasting effect. So key aspects of a vaccine induced antibody would be of course the good safety profile, be selective for the target, and in our case, to bind to conformational epitopes. We want high IgG titers that can be sustained over time and can be boosted. Our vaccine is called optimized ACI24. It's a peptide-based liposomal vaccine in which we embed B-cell peptides, and in our case, it's the first 15 amino acids of A-beta. It's anchored in by palmetic chains in order to generate those conformational specific beta sheets. We add adjuvants such as MPLA to activate toll-like receptors, and the optimization comes from the T-cell peptides that we add, which are epitopes derived from different origins, for example, tetanus, to provide bystander T-cell help. So before showing you the data, I would like to explain to you how our body creates these neurotoxic pyroglu A beta species. Basically, by removing the first two N-terminal amino acids from A beta 142, it exposes the glutamate. It is then post-translationally modified to pyroglutamate. This species is much more stable, aggregates faster, and increases oligomer formation and therefore is thought to be one of the most neurotoxic species along with oligomeric A-beta for Alzheimer therapy and hence why we did the following preclinical experiments. We have evaluated our optimized ACI24 and we could demonstrate that it induces a strong antibody response in mice and in non-human primates. As presented on the left side, in mice, Optimized ACI24 induced strong titers against A beta 142, but also against the truncated pyroglutamate A beta 3 to 42. In addition, in synomologous monkeys, and as presented on the graph in the middle, this vaccine induced a sustained and with the following immunizations, an enhanced IgG response against the mentioned two species of A beta. And furthermore, the binding to the truncated pyroglutamate A-beta was further explained by the epitope mapping presented on the right, where we could see that the antibodies induced by the optimized ACI24 are binding mainly to the mid-domain of A-beta-115, which explains the binding to the pyroglutamate. Further, we have evaluated the antibody profile of the optimized ACI24 and compared it to the other clinical A-beta vaccines. We have evaluated the full NT beta-142 vaccine, as well as the vaccine with the short A beta-127 peptide. And as can be seen on the left, in synomologous monkeys, while all three vaccines induce strong titers against A beta-142, only optimized ACA24, as presented with the black circles, induce very strong titers against the truncated pyroglutamate. Again, this binding to the pyroglutamate was explained by the epitope mapping shown on the right, where once again we could see that the optimized ACI24 induces antibodies that are binding to the mid-domain of A-beta-115, as opposite to the other vaccines that were inducing antibodies binding more to the very end terminus of A-beta. Our optimized ACI24 shows a superior binding to the pathological species of A-beta, such as truncated pyroglutamate and oligomeric A-beta. And indeed, our vaccine represents a potential breakthrough as compared to previous anti-A-beta vaccines. With all this promising data, 
The next steps are to start the clinical evaluation of the optimized ACA24 vaccine, which would be done in the biomarker-based clinical trial in Alzheimer's disease and Down syndrome-related Alzheimer's disease. In conclusion, our data first generate a potent and sustained polyclonal antibody response, second, the antibodies that we induce bind to highly neurotoxic species of A-beta including pyroglutamate, and third, there is a clinical proof of concept for targeting pyroglutamate A-beta from trials using monoclonal antibodies.